Let's very quickly do uh, The Keeper. Um, last week we had a film that began life as Keepers and then became The Vanishing, not to be confused with the slice of Dutch thriller. Now we have a film that began life as Troutman and became The Keeper, not to be confused with the 2019 short film. Story. Hey. It's Yeah, fine. It's called The Keeper, and it's the story, which you will probably know this story, the story of Bert Troutman, who is a German uh, prisoner of war, yes, went on to I play for Man City. Okay, fine. Yes. I didn't know the story, and so um, so he goes on to play for Manchester City and to take part in the FA Cup final, where his performance <coughs> is fairly famous. Essentially, what the what the story does is it, fo- it the film follows his story from the war, from imprisonment, from being in England, from falling in love and starting a family with Margaret. Here's a clip. What is it with boys in football? Mindlessly kicking a ball about all day. What is it with dancing? Well, dancing, it's easy. It's like... I'm floating. When you get it just right, there's no more gravity. Well, I mean, not that my body's actually floating, but more... something inside. Like you're dreaming, but without having to wake up. It is the moment. There's no before, no afterwards. When I'm playing football, there's only the moment. It's the same as dancing. Yes. You know, football is also just a kind of dancing. No, it's not. It's bloody barbaric. No, not if you look closely. Football is like a wonderful dance. So, I mean, the question for me is, if you kn- if you know the story, which I mean, clearly everybody does except me, and particularly we're here on Five Live, in which you'd imagine. Yeah. If you, I, I know, yeah. I know, yeah. exactly. Um, so what I ended up feeling was this is it's a remarkable story. I mean, the twists and turns, the you know, the the reversals of fortune, the tragedies and the triumphs are really remarkable. The film itself is, is you know, fairly, um, I, I think it's, it's occasionally it's a little bit on the nose. Occasionally there's very little that is left unsaid, very little that is left unexplained. There are conversations in which people, you know, tell each other exactly what's going on and why it's going on. There are some moments with rhubarbing in the crowd, you know, expressing displeasure or expressing pleasure. There's some moments with football commentators, which even if it's taken verbatim from what the football commentary actually said, sounds weirdly kind of expositional. But the story itself is an extraordinary story. And I mean, so you've, you know, you, you are aware of this and everybody else will be aware of it. So it's it's solidly told. It's, you know, clearly something of a passion project. And because the story itself is remarkable, that sort of brings you through. I think as far as the, the film itself is concerned, it is it is a, a solidly built, if hardly world-changing drama about a story that really is quite remarkable. Okay, and it's called? It's called The Keeper, not to be confused with Keepers, which then changed its name to The Vanishing, not to be confused with the George Slyzer film, The Vanishing.